Hey guys, it's Miki Asmar here, and today I'm going to be reading a, another Yamaguchi Tarashi X reader. And this one is part 5 in the Kiss series, the Blank Kiss series. The Blank Kiss series. Um, so far, there is a Tsukushima, Sugawara, um, Hinata, and Kuro one already out on my channel, so if you want to see those, make sure you go ahead and click over to those videos. This one is titled Lemon Kiss, and by the way, it's not like a lemon or smut thing, it's just lemon so just to get that clear because the author i mean i would have assumed if i didn't know it anyways <laughs> but it's not a lemon it's just lemon i don't know how to describe it but it's just a flavor like all the rest of the flavors so anyways let's get right on to the video yamaguchi kun there you are you ran into the boys classroom with a textbook in hand you forgot this in the science room oh oh thanks last name john Grabbing the book from your hand, Yamaguchi's freckled cheeks tinted red as his fingertips brushed yours. The unexpected contact made you blush as well. But instead of running away like you always did, you let the boy linger in your light of sight, fidgeting around. Last name, son. Is there anything wrong? Well, I was wondering if you helped me study for my biology test next week. I really need to pass, and you're my only hope. You brought f your folded hands up as you begged like a peasant. Please... Sure, last name son. <gasps> really? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Completely overcome with joy, you hugged Yamaguchi tight, causing the already nervous boy to tense up. Realizing what you had done, you immediately, immediately let go, both of your hearts now pounding. S -s Sorry, you mumbled, staring at the classroom floor. <laughs> it, 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 it's okay. He fiddled with his hands. Wait, he fiddled with a few strands of black hair that covered his forehead. I, I guess you can come over tomorrow. All right, I'll see you later. With your plan set, you quickly escaped the pre the precarious situation, face burning hot. Yamaguchi watched your small figure disappear behind the classroom door. Why the hell do you like someone like her? Or what do you? Wait, why the hell do you like her so much, Yamaguchi? Uh, what? I, I have my reasons, Suki. J just don't tell her. The blushing boy ran back to his seat and buried his face in the now sweet spelling book you had reunited him with, and Tsukushima smirked, a satisfied smirk of his work. Time skip. Finally, the time had come. Too excited to see Yamaguchi and go to his house. You weren't really able to sleep, leaving you trained and exhausted the next day. Until, that is, you saw a certain freckled-faced boy. Y yamaguchi kun you, you ran up to your secret crush who was standing with his best friend. Are you ready for today? The shorter boy blushed, now that he had gotten your full attention. Y yeah I am. There's no practice today, so we're all good. That's great. Then let's go. Ah, uh, uh, not so fast, Shorty. As if out of nowhere, the giant, a giant hand fell out of the sky and plopped onto your head. Yamaguchi has to help cleaning up the classroom today. I do. Yeah. No, he doesn't. That's your job today. Yamaguchi has cleaning duty next week. How do you know that? Eh, I have my connections. Anyways, you should do your job by yourself. Yamaguchi is with me today, so you can walk home by yourself. You stuck your tongue out with a tall blonde. Mmm. Why, you little... L last name, son. It's okay. I really don't mind helping Suki. He's my best friend, after all. Yeah, well, I do. Friend or not, you've got to stick up for yourself, Yamaguchi-kun. You took his arm and pulled it close to your chest. He's mine today, so go do your own work. And with that, you stormed out of the classroom, drag dragging Yamaguchi along. The whole time, you had completely forgotten, somehow, that you had contact with him. Um, l last name, son? Yeah, Yamaguchi-kun? You're still holding on to my arm. Oh, again, you let go of the blushing boy. Now your face, burning red, too. S -s sorry about that, and, uh, for calling you mine. Well, I don't really mind being called yours. An intense blush crept over both of your faces within seconds of hearing his words. Uh, I, I mean, uh, um... With the conversation now reduced to nothing, the two of you walked in silence as you, until you reached the convenience store. Last name's on. Do you mind if I pick up something in here? Oh, sure. I'll just wait outside. You don't want to come in? You can meet our coach. He works in there. Oh, well then I guess I will. You walked into the store and wandered the small aisles as Yamaguchi searched for things. You ran the counter with the register sounding. Are you all done? Yeah, last name's on. This is our coach, Yukai-san. Oh, so this is your girlfriend, Yamaguchi. Good job, she's a real cutie. 
The young coach statement left both of you beat red and you ready to run away. He chuckled at your flustered forms. <laughs> just kidding. I just know it's still a crush. You kai san. Okay, I'm just playing around. Anyways, since you brought me your new customer, I'll give you a discount. Now, go to my store or get out of my store and go finish your little date. You stumbled into Yamaguchi's arms and after Yukai pushed you two out the door. Ow. Last name, son. Are you okay? Um, yeah, I think. You backed away from him and straightened yourself out. Did, did you get everything you needed? Yeah, I did. Let's go. You nodded silently and you followed the tall boy to his home. Time skip. Wow, this is really nice, he said, entering his room, amazed at its cleanliness. Oh, thanks, Yamaguchi said, sitting at his table, he decided to follow his lead and sat across from him, crisscross applesauce style. A couple minutes went by when you noticed that something the con a couple minutes went by when you finally noticed the considerably intense stare Yamaguchi had been giving you. Is there something wrong, Yamaguchi? Uh um l last name, son. Yeah? I, um, d don't think you should be s sitting l like that. What? Why? What's wrong with the way I sit? Well, you're, you're wearing a, a skirt. You tilted your head to the side gently, still confused. Yeah, so? Yamaguchi raised his callous hand over his rosy red cheeks. S so I, I can see up. Up your skirt. You glanced down and noticed he was right. Not only could you see your unmentionables, you could see the the position you sat in pulled your skirt up quite a bit, so a rather excessive amount of thigh showed. If you had listened to your mother like she told you, and sat ladylike, this wouldn't have happened. With a vivid blush painting over your already pink cheeks, you flailed your arms around wildly before having to having sense to pull your skirt down and probably sitting with no gap between your legs. You peeked at the brown-haired boy across from you to see that he was a blushing mess too. Yamaguchi. Uh, I'm sorry, he replied. He yelled into his hands, cutting you off. You looked at him with a perplexed expression. For what? F for, for not telling you sooner. P please don't think I'm a creep. Yamaguchi, I'd never think of you as a creep. Honestly, I think you're one of the only guys who's nice enough to tell a girl. So what you did was very uncreepy. He lowered his large hands, only large enough for you to see his sheepish eyes. Really? You you, you mean that? Yum, oh, you nodded as a sweet smile made its way onto your lips. If anyone's a creep, it's definitely that Tsukushima. I really don't know why you're still friends with a guy like him. Well, Suki can be a little brash, but deep down he's a really nice person. He's done a lot for me and I owe him. A reluctant sigh escaped your lips as he leaned under the table. That may be true, but I still like you a lot more. I'd pick you over him any day. Yamaguchi blushed at your honesty. No one had ever actually liked him, especially over his super hot best friend. They're right, he is hot, but that's not the point. He couldn't wrap his head around it. But why? Your f brows furrowed at the sound of his question. What do you mean, why? Well, it's not like I'm that special. I'm not cool like Suki, or skilled like Kageyama, or cheerful like Hinata. His gaze dropped as his fingers began to fiddle with his, with the fold of his pant leg. I have no presence. I'm just a nobody. You stared at the, you stared at the boy with nothing but pity in your eyes. Yamaguchi, is that really how you see yourself? You felt your heart sink into your stomach when you saw him nod. All of a sudden, Yamaguchi felt a soft, a soft warmth envelop him from behind. He looked back to see you hugging him tight with your arms wrapped, wrapped your arms and legs wrapped around his thin frame. A light blush dusted his cheeks. L last name? Please, don't say that stuff about yourself, Yamaguchi. It makes me sad. But it's true. I'm so scrawny and useless. I just know I'm holding the team back. And people will always think my freckles look weird. I'm not even brave enough to confess to the girl I like. Even you told me to stick up for myself. You shook your head furiously against his back. That's not true, Yamaguchi. You're such a good person, and it pains me to see how you see yourself. I can't help it. I, I just feel worthless. But you're not worthless, Yamaguchi. You're the nicest person I've ever met, 
and you're my best friend. You might not be cool like Tsukushima, but you're so much more gentle and caring than him. You might not be a super amazing setter like Kageyama, but you're just as enthusiastic about him with volleyball. And I know you work harder than everybody else to try to get better. And even if Hinata is cheerful, I, I, I still think y you're a lot cuter than him. Your voice trailed off into a mouse-like whisper as you progressed. Though you couldn't see it, a blush hued on Yamaguchi's cheeks, and it grew more and more with every word that left your mouth. The only sign your words had gotten through to him was a silence and the red nips, redness on the tip of his ears. You may think that you're- that you don't stand out or anything, but you're not a nobody, but you know, Tadashi, you're the only one I see. The onyx-haired player stroked your soft fingers with his long ones. Thank you for saying such nice things about me, last name John. I really appreciate it. I'm always here for you. Can I ask you a favor then? Sure, what is it? C can I hug you? A small smile grazed his way onto your lips. You retracted your limbs from the boy, allowing him to turn around and hug you tight. You returned the gesture, basking in his warmth and fresh scent. He nuzzled closer to you as he hid his red face in the crook of your neck while you hid yours in his chest. Your eyes shut in a response, and it was like a peaceful silence had filled the room. I love you, first name. Oh god, what did he do? With panic, with your eyes wide open, you loosened your grip to look up at Yamaguchi, who had panic written all over his face. Never in a million years would he have thought to confess to you like this. The fear of rejection was too great, and he didn't want to jeopardize the friendship between you two. But in the heat of the moment, he let it slip, and now he was regretting it. No, no, no I, I didn't mean it. I was just kidding. I I love you too, Tadashi. The blushing boy stared down at you with wide eyes. He couldn't believe his ears. What? What? I said, I love you too. You what? Don't make me say it again. You went into his, ch into his chest, now blushing furiously. It's embarrassing. Holy smokes. Yamaguchi thought his heart was going to explode, and said of re reprimanding himself for the fact that he blurted out his deepest secret, he rejoiced over it. He let out a relieved sigh as he held you tight again. Thank God. You wiggled, you giggled, and snuggled closer to him. Can you always call me by my first name? I really like when you do that. I I'll try, he mumbled, averting his gaze away from you. You thought it was the most adorable thing when he got all shy, which he did it a lot. Wanting to see more from him, you teased him by pecking the tip of his nose. F why in? Don't surprise me like that, he said with his hands covering his face. Aw, but I can't help it. You're just so cute when you get shy. I'm not shy, and I'm not cute. I'm very manly. Aw, of course you are, Tadashi. Embracing or embarrassed with the ego bruise, Yamaguchi let you go and turned away from you. Hearing the rustling of plastic, you peeked over to his shoulders to see that he had pulled out a juice box that he had bought at the convenience store. The poor boy sipped the sweet yet sour drink, hoping it would co the cool liquid would cool him down, giggling again. You draped your arms around his shoulders and scooted close behind him. Tadashi, don't ignore me. You're such a meanie. Well, if you didn't tease me, I wouldn't have to. He mumbled, still sipping on his juice box. You nuzzled closer to him, making him blush even harder. He had glanced over to see you, to his shoulder to see you staring up at him with the biggest puppy dog eyes. Why in? Hmm? You hummed, pressing your cheek, or pressing your chest closer to his back. D don't push so hard. What? I'm just trying to get some juice too. You unhooked your arms and reached over to Yamaguchi, your chest accidentally brushing up against his back. With his now open juice pouch in your hand, you sat, you pulled him back and sat beside him and took a long sweet swig of the tart beverage. Mmm, lemonade, my favorite. Ah, why well, John? That's my juice. Oh, am I not allowed to? You asked innocently, still making those puppy dog eyes that would make your new boyfriend melt. The poor boy couldn't look anywhere else from your direction. Well, well I, I guess that's okay. Hey, Tanashi. Y yeah? I know we just started dating, but when are you gonna give me a kiss? You heard the breath, his breath hitch 
as the tips of his ear reddened. Trying to give you, trying to keep your giggles in, you crawled over to him and turned his shoulders so that he was facing you. Tadashi, you called seductively, your finger drawing circles on his chest. Ha, ha, um, mm. Yamaguchi laid back on his palms, looking anywhere but you. Thinking that it would be more fun, you pushed the tall player onto his back and straddled with his hips. Oh my god. He leaned down, you leaned down, and blew slightly onto his ear, setting a chill down his spine. What, 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 why then? Don't. He begged with his hands. Wait, he begged his hands on your hips, weakly trying to tear you away, but he had no strength to resist. I, I'm. Hmm? What's wrong, Tadashi? You don't want to play? He stared down at the flustered boy with a smirk, almost as sly as Tsukushima's. You took his silence, though it was more like an inaudible babbling, as a no. You were about to let your captor free when the world started spinning, and you found yourself staring up at the ceiling. Before you could even process what was going on, you felt a warm se sensation on your lips. Yamaguchi was hovering- oh my god. <laughs> Yamaguchi was hovering over you, kissing and biting your soft lips as he pulled you up to- with the bundle- with the bundle of the shirt that he had stretched in his hands. After assessing the situation, you kissed back just as fiercely, wrapping your legs around his hips until the two of you broke apart, gasping for air. Oh my god, I'm blessed as hell, fuck. Um, oh, wow. I, I, I told you not to tease me, the brunette said, lowering you back to the ground and letting go of your shirt as he wiped off a bit of saliva from his lips. T -t Tadashi, d don't look. Why? What's wrong? And there you were, lying defenseless underneath of him, your, short, your shirt half torn open, revealing your whatever color bra you're wearing. Um, apparently, yanking you up close by your collar wasn't the best move as it had ended with half of your buttons flying off in his face. Blood rushed to the young volleyball player's face, and maybe somewhere else too. Ooh. As, as he clamped his hand over his eyes, but of course, being the teenage boy he was, he peeked through his finger to watch you scramble and slip on one of his sweaters. Oh, you are the ultimate tease. Holy fuck, that was cute. Oh my god, um, catch me trying not to get flustered reading that. Oh. When it, like, when he, like, switched us like that, oh my god, man, like, did a whole 180, oh my god, that was fucking delicious. Um, anyways, y'all wanted more Yamaguchi, so I'm giving you more Yamaguchi, and it actually, it happened to be the next part I was gonna read anyways, so, it was perfect. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you subscribe and tap the notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post a video. Um, yeah, I try my best to post as often as I can. But you know guys, I have school, and I decided to fucking take AP classes like a moron, so it's even worse for me. And I have disabilities, so <laughs> it makes it harder. Or like, well, it's mostly like ADHD and stuff, but that's not the point. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for listening to the whole video. If you're still here, you're an MVP. Thank you so much for sticking it through with me. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did like the video, because it boosts the YouTube algorithm, I think. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys in another video, and goodbye, have a great day.